Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Tis I, the one only Archer with Archer Astrology. Hello. Aries, it's time to do your September 2023 love check-in or whatever comes out for you and the one on your mind. Um, for September 2023, when you clicked onto this reading and decided to hang out with me for a little bit, which I totally love and appreciate. If you would love me back and love that like down here and get me out into the algorithm, I would completely appreciate you. I do very deeply, as well as be sure to subscribe and set the bell to all notifications because I go live every Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs from you to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. Okay, so come along, set the bell, be a part of the familia. I love you. All right, and then while you're here, feel free to page of swords all over my channel. Check out your playlists for healing music with Bill over here. He a Gemini. He's cool. And also pick a card readings where my decks pick you. Check those playlists out. And then, of course, all of your monthlies are neatly prioritized and organized into convenient playlists for you. So just make a day of binge watching Archer, and I appreciate you for being here. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can email me at archerastrology at gmail.com as well as finding me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm like everywhere as Archer Astrology. Hey, hey, right there. All right. So, Aries, we are going to check out what's going on for you guys. Whatever comes out, as I see the Emperor to the Queen of Cups, Aries Cancer Energy with the Ten of Wands for Sagittarius Energy. Coming to completions and ready to go forward. Foot on the gas, no one going to crash. Nine of Wands. Ooh, it's fast moving and sweet talking too. Johnny Brovo's here being like, okay, Archer, let's go ahead and shovel that deck now. All right. Oh, and Temperance. Holy cow, you got like all the all-stars are showing up to this here. All right. This is like a Smash Mouth song going on already. Let's do it. For Aries, September of 2023, whatever comes out to them, from them, for them, to them. Yeah, let's go with that. All right, Aries. Love you. Let's do it. Ace of Wands to the Sun to the Four of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Have you got an Ace of Wands going on about something here? Let's see who's got you a little hot. Okay, Rams? Ramo. Let's do it. For Aries, what do we have for Aries? Only highest and greatest messages, good, etc., and so forth. It's the protection that comes by default when you come to Archer Astrology, right? Yeah, share it. Let's do it. All right, Aries, two shuffles. One and two and a half. King of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Swords. Who's that? That's the death card. Whoa, there's a new beginning coming. And the Ace of Swords, you want to talk to them. They want to talk to you. Something's up. All right, let's do it. We're ready. This deck is all over the place, so let's go for it. Let's love this deck for the amazing Aries. It's go time. What's going on, Aries? The Knight of Swords. Top Gun Maverick showed up already, coming in to request that flyby. Him, Goose, Rooster, all of them are here. That's an interesting one. Let's go. We got first out right away, your present position, we got the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy shows up here that you are up in your fields because you bought some of Archer's up all night, not going to sleep medicine, and um, you're playing Caitlin Petty, staring at the ceiling on repeat while staring at the ceiling, trying to grapple with the situation here. You've been thinking about them a lot lately, haven't you? <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, your immediate influence right now is just focusing on your money and your possessions, which you've got in the 3D world as you try to figure out something about them. And they're still thinking about you too. That brings us to your goal or destiny, which is the devil. You guys are freaking straight up obsessed about each other. You want each other. We've seen the Ace of Wands in that too. There's a, there's a chemistry. We're going to PG call it a chemistry between you guys, okay? You're feeling them because they're feeling you. Devil card. All right. Now, in the distant past, we have justice because you had to cut something out to walk away from it, to go to your respective corners and to heal both of your heart and your head chakra. So Mercury and Venus retrograde have brought you to a point of completion on the past. You know what you want to do with them. All right. <laughs> yes, you do. Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. This thing has been making the rounds along with the star card for uh, September at the channel here, too. So more recent past was spirit having to come in and clear the energetical ways. Kind of like at the time you felt that there was no more you could do for the situation and the best thing for you was to move forward. Spirit keeps putting those tower moments into the situations, whether they're good or bad. Your future influence, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. That bond shows up right there. That you have come to something, some kind of an awakening or epiphany, maybe under the new moon on the 14th, the 15th, the energies of retrograde end, has given you more knowledge here that you're, you're, you're ready to go. Because one or the both of you feel like you missed out on something and you're gaining knowledge with that. 
<clears throat> now your incoming energy is the six of friggin' wands. Victory shows up right here, Leo energy. That this is again Caitlin Petty playing, staring at the ceiling, and all the other stuff for about fifty thousand people, like a Beatles Shea Stadium concert, standing ovation, being like, "Yeah, this is me." All those applause are for me. So your incoming energy is the right answer and the one that gets you the distance. Okay. The environmental factors we've got are the three of wands. Your energy. Aries energy comes in to show that you kind of know the time's right or you feel like the time's right. And it's time to unblock them. It's time to see if they've calmed down. It's time to see if there is something that can be built without doing the stuff again. Because you cannot go through what you went through before, Aries. If they ain't coming correct, don't bother coming at all. That's your inner emotions. <laughs> the nine of wands. Sag energy. So, yep, you've got a wall built up that Donald Trump would be jealous. Hey, if a, but with this nine nine portal showing up, and look at this. These two nines are literally on the diagonal axis. The diagonal planes here that brings us full circle. Nine nine could be a number that you're thinking about. And I accidentally laid the nine of wands down in the nine of swords' spot. So there could be a switch dynamic, a change in mentality, or a runner chaser flip floppity do. But the outcome at the bottom is Top Gun Maverick, Nice Swords. So once you guys start talking and the talk happens fast, you're going to wind up spilling coffee down your shirt, okay? Because sometimes Maverick don't give warnings. Anyways, so let's take a look at some clarifiers on this, okay? Appreciate you for being here, Aries. Thank you so very much. All right, let's go for it, Aries. Some, some clarifiers on this back row. Okay, well, apparently the Ten of Pentacles is like no problem. So, yeah, this is something here that is set to go the distance. You guys, you've been thinking about them a lot lately. Something about them um, checks the boxes where it's like maybe even a business plan or something you guys have or had together that you've been thinking about a lot lately. You're going from Nine Swords in your head to Ten of Pentacles making bank and getting that bread so that's not bad like at the moment here you may be like you have like one person you might talk to about them ten of pentacles that you trust queen of cups the counselor shows up could be a cancer um but someone here that you trust and like because they, they keep your thoughts personal about them and it's like it's like you can talk to them in your dreams you tell them about your dreams it's that one person that you know and trust six of ones Ooh, six six and nine nine shows up that's like double cancer six nine and it's about a perception here i got clarifiers across the board that shows you're gonna win this one it's like Aries already knows the outcome, even though stuff has them stressed out, and they're going with it. So Cancer Leo energy could be a Cancer Leo cusper, or a Cancer with Leo placements, or vice versa. But either way here, like it's like an open mic night here. It's like confidence coming out with the Six of Cups. That's three sixes, six, six, six. And the Devil card's out on the table. Now remember, before you sit there and go, ooh, Archer, Devil card, ooh, ha-ha. No, no, it's not that big a deal. Because remember, before you instantly go right into the obsessions and the addictions here, this is a good obsession or addiction type of thing. It happens. It's a thing, right? Because think about it. If Capricorn's all that bad, why is Jesus a December 25th Capricorn? Ponder that one, won't you? Okay. So, exactly. So, Six of Cups. You guys miss each other, and that's the connection that brought you guys in during some dark places in your life. Okay. Yep, Eight of Swords. And it's something that you've been thinking about a lot here. It's like an open mic night when everybody else was involved, and you got really kind of sick and tired of hearing from the peanut gallery. You cut it down to one person that you trust. Could be an Aries, could be a Libra, but something that you only trust this one person with and about here maybe like an open mic night with this eight of swords to the ten pentacles this my eight of swords archer's eight of swords are two way transmitting and receiving energy so like it's like an open mic night for you guys to talk about your feelings and your emotions maybe even like like one of you guys is in the music industry or you like go to comedy shows or you like comedy shows or you had plans to and it's like that open mic maybe they write you poems or write you songs or have wrote you songs or poems maybe even like to draw seven of wands more leo six seven eight is literally showing up here that you might have a connection to that that you guys are protected and guarded in your decisions that you can trust there wasn't trust before but this justice card shows that it le leveled out a bit so it's like they're still holding on to you onto what could have been with that seven of wands and they feel like that you're the one that got away they do a lot of daydreaming about you because you help them through their darkest moments Pisces energy, hang man, you help them through their darkest moments with some deep knowledge from the past. And I'm pulling on a tattoo. I'm seeing a tattoo around here because those feathers on these wands are kind of making that stick out to me a little bit. Like, but in this case, I'm seeing a cursive tattoo. You know, like how, like, you know how they don't, like a tattoo on your arm with cursive, but it's written in cursive. Like, you know how, like, they don't teach cursive in Common Core anything anymore? So think about it. In a generation or two, the Constitution will be hieroglyphic. Something about Egypt might even ring out. But think about, like, your great-grandkids, Aries. Um, they won't be able to read the Constitution because they aren't learning cursive. It will be hieroglyphics and, like, 
a whole different thing, right? And that's what I'm seeing here. It could be either of you. I'm pulling it has deeper meaning. This tattoo's got deeper meaning than meets the eye, you know? And because you know that they're not teaching cursive anymore, you know it's something that's just like a, a secret, eclectic language for you guys. It's like your own hieroglyphics. No one needs to understand them like you do. Nobody does understand them like you do, Aries, and they know that. Knight of Swords. On the Knight of Swords. So we've got double Knight of Swords and double Six of Wands with the Three of Swords down there. So this is confirmation that you guys are mirroring each other as my cards and my decks sync up, Aries. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's wild. Okay, it totally happens often here. Hierophant to the Hierophant. So we are, when, when these cards come out like this, Aries, it's just like Archer. You're just saying the same thing over and over. This is really the point is Aries misses them. They miss Aries. So let's just find out what's going on. Hierophant. But that's where we're at. Um, dude, Aries, they feel like they totally missed out on something with this justice to the wheel of fortune, high priestess. Maybe you've blocked them. Maybe you're getting to the point of possibly unblocking them and being like, okay, maybe we'll give this a shot, but first I want my bubble bath. I see an Aries who enjoys their time with like a little wine on the tub, you know, just having their bath and that, but like just an opportunity to love and be loved here because when you guys met, they were in the dark place, but they're getting their confidence back. I just got chills, Aries, all over, right down my back, especially. Was I not mentioning about an open mic when I was talking about like they're either a musician or they're or like a comedy club or something? And here's the confidence of the rock star showing up, spotlight performer, and the confidence needed to be on that stage. You're finding the confidence to unblock them and to quietly be open to communication just to test the waters. Empress, did I frickin' stutter? No, you didn't, Archer. That's why we're pulling all these double cards for you. Thank you, Spirit. We are so grateful. Very much so. So um, you're a freaking rock star, Aries, and you're in some Empress energy. So you are starting to feel a little more confident in your choice. Whatever you went through under the new moon and the situations around that, it gave you some clarity to be like, all right, let's give it a shot. And Eight of Swords, Empress energy got jumped into your timeline with the Hierophant on, on this. And here's the Queen of Wands for the third time's a charm. In the Titanic deck, this is Violet Jessup, who survived all three of the Titanic ships. She was on the first sister ship, the Olympic, when it got T-boned by another a military ship in port. Then she was on the Titanic when it had a little fender bender that you might have heard of in a history book. And then she survived that one, too. And then she got she got into port in New York, right? And then she walks in. She's, like, getting off the boat, off the Carpathia. She walks in. She's like, what else you got? What else you got, you know? And they's like, hey, don't worry. We got another one. It's a hospital ship. It's called the Britannic. Okay, I'm on it. It got, it got Lusitania. It got freaking Lusitania in 1916 during World War I. However, she survived that one too and then went on to pass away in her sleep in a ripe old age in the 1970s. I've often suspected that Rose's end story in Titanic is a little ode to Violet Jessup. Good job, James Cameron. Proud of you. Anyways, <laughs> mm, the decks are sinking right to me as we get the Prince of Pentacles and the Tom Cruise from Tropic Thunder card showing up going, good job, buddy, into his little freaking flip phone <laughs> right there. So, yeah, we're on point here. So um, maybe you simply fear that, that that they might lash out. They might be upset if you reach out to them. They're going to be like, well, you know what? I remember what all you did to me. However, they remember what you they did to you. And so, like, you don't think you can trust each other on this one here. All I keep hearing off of this, especially this emperor, this high priestess, all I hear from this one is here is, I didn't want this to end. I miss Aries and I love Aries, but their happiness outweighs mine. So if they're happy, that's all I want for them. Good job, buddy, with that one, right? Look who's back, the six of freaking cups. There's a deep connection here and that's all they want for you. Maybe you were their first kiss and there was like an age difference or a maturity difference. I'm seeing like a, a difference in age, especially as being one of the key factors, even beliefs in that. But yeah, at that point here, this was like, I'm seeing like you were something to each other. And, and, and even like you might've, when you had that first kiss, like, in, like you kind of bumped foreheads in a, in a little, you know, kind of hoo -hoo way. And I'm, I'm hearing that, you know, hoops, we'll get it here. And, and you guys are both fighting to keep distance from each other because they haven't forgotten you and you haven't forgotten them. And I'm seeing something about a silver car, Emperor Aries Energy. Maybe you or they drive a silver car or it's like the car you're looking for to get and it's silver or something. But something about that resonates to somebody here. It's it's kind of like you block them to walk away to 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 recover. And they the, the approach they took to it was like, like they're grieving you like you passed away they can't speak ill of you 
and they they feel like they're responsible for the whole thing here with this six of cups it's a lot lately and it's kind of like maybe you've been feeling a little bit like i wonder what they're up to it's been a long time um maybe maybe there's something still there like i see you just sitting working at your laptop wheel of fortune clarifying onto this we've got two wheel of fortunes now you got more synchronicities coming out it's mind-blowing here you speak to each other on an astrological plane that you're not realizing you're dreaming about them and someone here is a good sketch artist they used to draw you pictures or they still draw artwork about you something about art there's a lot of like art and music into this one and writing it's in that effect and i see that you have that one close person could be a parent or a friend i'm still pulling it from back here in the beginning that like is even telling you you know what if you really miss them that much go for it give them a shot here you still pull each other through the dark times you're still each other's like rock your cheerleader and spirit has been wheel of fortuning to both you guys with two of those cards out to bring you guys back in the right perspective strength card there's a contract here that's not over yet you guys have done this it's in your energetical blueprint maybe you fear that what you did was too unrepairable and that they're they're going to lash out at you they're feeling the same thing wheel of fortune to the to the strength card on this one so there's the five of pentacles worry and the ghosting this is the end of that ghosting casper the silent ghost shows up because it's like okay you know what you guys are like each other's spotlight you still get each other through here you guys made each other feel safe and comfortable and you miss the talking you guys are each other's wish and you want to talk queen of swords the the energies that are deep down on the inside here to that 9966 connection shows that there was something here maybe even this time around finishing that first kiss to a swords you're going to take a blind leap of faith you've already unblocked them aries you just haven't pressed send on something yet that two of swords shows me you're going to and there's a new beginning with the tower at the bottom to the ten of wands you pass the test you're going to press send very nice um aries if this resonates in any way shape or form do please let me know uh leave a comment down below i do love interacting with you guys i know it takes me a minute to get back to you but i will and remember this will resonate to any and all placements within your chart of aries because we are all the parts of all our charts and we are fha compliant here at archer astrology and we'll read for any sign or placement which desires and inquires so until next time make it a great one aries i love you to the moon and back and appreciate you don't forget to subscribe love the like for me check out my playlists for the healing music the base covers the pick a cards and all your monthlies prioritize and organize for your viewing pleasure until next time aries namaste peace out archer out yeah chariot